calling in from South Carolina. I got my guy, Big Stun. What up, bro? What's good? What's good? Man, how are you feeling? You, yo, I kind of love your come up, man, because you've gone viral on TikTok this past year. You got a record out with Pooh Shicey. You got to tell me, how did this all kind of begin for you? Like, how did you kind of first get into, into music? To be real, like, my homeboy used to be into music a lot, so it really, he really brought me into it, too. So, like, I really got it from him. His name, Bit J5. He has started rapping, and that's what really brought But I wasn't serious until that Capitalize Our Pain dropped. And that's what really made me get into rap, for real. Right, and with this Capitalize Off Pain record, man, like, when it dropped, you know what I'm saying? And and it started, it has, like, over 300,000 videos, I think, right now, made to it on TikTok. And it's got, like, some of the biggest uh, TikToker, TikTokers on the app doing dances yeah. and videos to it. How did you kind of first find out when this was, like, blowing up? I had posted it, and, like, two days later, I had um, woke up from sleep, and I checked my phone, and I had seen all kind of notifications, so I thought something was going on. <laughs> then I ended up getting on TikTok, and I seen that video had a lot of views, and that's when I really knew it was up. Now, was that, like, did you ever expect this record to kind of reach that height that it reached with, on TikTok? No, nah, I never expected that. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I never seen that come. So when you saw like people with like 60 million people, uh, like not well, like people with 60 million followers doing uh, dances to your record, what was that feeling like for you? Was that just kind of like a surreal moment? Oh, yeah, I was like, man, to be real, I'm blessed for this, man, because I never thought I even nobody that famous or like really even be dance to any music I ever put out. So, yeah, that was a big blessing to me. That meant a lot. I love that. I love that. So, you know, I know you're pretty young. How old are you? I'm 17. I just turned 17. Happy belated birthday. Um, but when it comes to being so young in the game, how do you kind of balance being, you know, doing the music and kind of like, I know you play football as well. How do you kind of balance the sports, the music, the school, all of that? It's really easy to balance. Cause really, like anything you put your mind to, you can do. So that's what I really do. And I just get it done. Hard work. Right, right. And with football, you know, uh, was football for you, was that ever kind of like, a career path that you wanted or, or, you know, did, were you had to choose, did you have to choose between music and football or like, you know, how did that kind of work out? Well, for this rap stuff, I love it was about football. I wanted to go to NFL since I was about five. But then once I dropped that song, it changed my mind a lot. Mm -hmm. So like, about that's when you were kind of like, okay, I think I'm just do this music stuff. Not, not, you know, not so much the football. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna play this shit for my senior year, my last year. I think I'm gonna play it out. And just kind of like see it through to the end before you kind of go full time with the music after school and whatnot. Yeah. Right. I love that. I love that. And so, you know, I love this new joint you got out with Pooh Shicey right now, which is which is extremely dope because I know you're a big you're a big Gucci fan as well. And obviously Pooh is uh is is signed to his his record label. How did this record come about? Oh, I had um made that money gang song in the studio by myself. Like a month before he got on it, but we knew it, was, it could be a hit, so we was trying to see who we were going to put on it. Mm -hmm. Then me, my pops, my manager got together, and we started to push shots, and that's what we said we were going to get on there. So I came back to the city, and my manager hit me up the next day and said, we got it done. So you need me in Atlanta this and that time. So <laughs> okay, and that's what me and Pooh shots we met. That's awesome. So when you did you ever get to meet Gucci? Yet? Have you gotten to meet, you know, because I know he's he's one of your he's one of your favorite rappers. But have you ever gotten to meet him yet? Have you gotten to make that connection? No, nah, not yet. Not yet. And, you know, what I love so much about this record, about the Money Game record is because the video that you did for it is, is so crazy, too. Like it's it's definitely like a different level of production than the Capitalize Off Pain record. With that yeah. video, how did how did that kind of come about? Which one? Uh, the Money Gang video. Yeah, so like everything music video, yeah, you gotta be prepared and have a treatment for. So really, it, it was a treatment off that one movie called Triple Nine. I think that's what it's called. Okay. And that's how we went off of it. We knew it was gonna, we wanted the video to be something like that, robbing the bank and all that. <laughs> really, the treatment. And it, okay, finish what you were gonna say. No, nah, I was just saying the direct, the director, good director. Dope, dope. And, you know, obviously being so young, so, like, are obviously, uh, are you back in school? Like, are they letting you back in school, or are you kind of doing the stuff from home? Like, how's that working out for you? We go, um, we were going today, but now I'm virtual school. I was about to say, like, because uh, I wanted to know, if, like, if you pull up to school, like, you're, like, the local celebrity in, in, in the school now. 
Yep, 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 yep. What do you? What are your? I guess classmates and like, or like the people around you. Like, what? How do they feel about the music stuff? I mean, some people hate it. Some people support it. But it really used to because I've been seeing them my whole life. Mm. So, mm. Like, so for you, it's just, it's yeah. just like but for them, it's just I like, oh, that's our guy. Like for the people around you, they're like, oh, I that's mean, our guy. So them, you know, not all, not all of them. Some people, some of. Them. Got nah, you. Bro. Most of them, nah. Got you, got you. So with this debut EP on the way, man, what can people expect from this project? Like, what do you, you know, are there gonna be more features? Is it gonna be mostly you? You know, what can people expect from your from your debut project? It's gonna be most of me on this. This is my first album. I want to come in kind of solo, showing what I can do by myself. So, and it's nine songs on it. It's called In My Blood. It's the project is called In My Blood. Yeah, In My Blood. Why did you decide to uh, to title it that? But I feel like it's in my blood to do what I do, run in the family, run in the group. Got it in my family. I love that. I love that. So I'm assuming the only feature on the project is going to be the Pooh Shicey record. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. I actually got a feature with um my home, one of my homeboys from the city. Got like two of him. His name V.A. Young. That's going on there. Dope, that dope. Next, next meal we're shooting right now is going on. I love that. I love that. So looking towards the future, you know, uh, five years from now, where do you want to be? Who are some people that you really want to also work with as you kind of grow as, as this artist? I want to be like, in five years, I want to be at the top of the game. I ain't going to say the top of the game because you never can be at the top. You always got to be working. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I want to just make bigger accomplishments, be a better, better myself, better me, get better with the rap head. That's an artist. Uh, I ain't even like I say I want to work with a lot of artists in the area too. Like, I want to work with Tusi, the baby, Lil Baby, Lil Zell, Simon, them type of artists. Right, because I feel like the Carolinas are having a great like music kind of boom right now with a lot of artists coming out, a lot of dope artists going viral. Like I definitely would love to to see you kind of like make those connections and kind of you know just grow as like as like you know as like an area. You feel me? Yeah, right. So we got the debut DP. We got more videos. Anything else that the people got to look out for uh, from you for in 2021? Oh, yeah. I'm bringing straight pressure and heat the whole 2021. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yo, well, I appreciate you taking the time out of your, your busy video shoot to come chop it up with me. Uh, let the people know where they can follow you at. Uh, any last message you got for your fans out there? Go ahead. Now is the time to plug it in. You can follow me on all social media at Big Stun, B I G. S T U N one T on our platform. I just want to thank all my fans support for taking out the time support. Hey man, I appreciate you. Make sure y'all go run up that new single with Pooh Sicey Money Gang out now. Until next time, yeah. big stun on the radar, baby.